Now, we've spoken about the drug Remdesivir quite a bit on this programme. It is, of course, the drug originally made to treat Ebola by the US giant Gilead Sciences. It's been approved for use as a COVID-19 treatment. Well, now, for the first time, a generic version has been licensed. It's being made by Bangladesh's leading pharmaceutical firm, Beximco. And it is, of course, called Bemzivir. They will sell it privately for around $77 a file, but it will give away free to state-run the hospitals are live now to the Bangladeshi capital, Dakar, and Beximco's chief operating officer, Dr. Rabba Reza. Dr. Reza, very good to see you. So how many countries do you hope to export to initially? Um, thank you for having me, Yen, on your program. And basically, at this moment, we're not sure that how many countries we'll be exporting our products to. But we are receiving a number of queries from different parts of the world. And most of the places are basically the developing nations. And also we're getting requests from few European countries as well. But today we're very happy that we have been able to launch Remdesivir and made it accessible for the patients in Bangladesh. So the COVID-19 patients, the seriously ill patients, they can access this medicine. But as you say that how many countries, as of now, we are not sure that how many countries will access this medicine. Is this quite a tricky compound to manufacture? Uh, you see, for any drug, you know, and to make it stable, it is, it is tricky, definitely tricky. And here, basically, this product is injectable. We are giving this product uh, directly into the vein, you know, basically. So we need to be sure that what we are putting in the vein is basically the right medicine we are giving. And this is for life saving. So. It is tricky, and uh, the solubility of this product is uh, tricky a little bit, uh, but our scientists, they work day and night to make this happen, and we're very proud of that. And typically, how many vials are needed in the course of treatment? You see, uh, the trials, you know, there have been limited trials now in the U.S., and based on the trials, uh, they say that it could be either five-day course or ten-day course. So for five-day, they start with two vials on the first day, and then following four days, one vial. So the total, six vials needed. When it is 10-day course, it will be 11 vials. So day one, two vials, followed by one vial each on uh, for the next nine days. So either six vials or 11 vials over five days or 10 days. So potentially a course of treatment could be as much as $800 per patient. Uh, thing is, you see here, I think the price that you have quoted, uh, our price that uh, we, we need to take a price from our regulatory authority. So the price that we have taken is basically around $65, $65 in local currency, 5,500 taka. And uh, for the government hospitals, we are giving this free in Bangladesh. So if, you know, we need to supply this to private hospitals, then we'll have to charge this 5,500 taka per patients. Uh, to, actually, the hospital will be charging this. And if you're exporting, you know, it could be, you know, um, around the same price. But we're working on the pricing. And our, you see, the goal for us as a company is to make medicine firstly accessible and then make it affordable. So although we have launched our product at this price, definitely we are looking at reducing the cost over time. So, uh, yes, oh. you're right that at this oh. moment, par by oh. $65, but, you know, that we are oh. live in a, you know, in a country where uh, affordability could be a problem. So that is why our management have decided that we will be giving this medicine free of charge to all patients being treated in the government hospitals. And basically in Bangladesh, most of the patients, the COVID-19 patients, are being treated in government hospitals. So you can say that virtually... This medicine is free in Bangladesh. Okay, Dr. Razor, we have to leave it there. Thanks very much for joining me. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Ian. Thank you. Bye-bye.